I think it's pretty common for us to walk up to someone and maybe not remember their name or not remember something we're trying to recall and sort of pass it off as a little bit of a memory issue. But if you've been involved in an accident and after that accident you're having issues remembering names or places or dates or events, um, it can be pretty devastating if it's not going away. Now remember that uh, we rely on our memory in terms of our ability to function in life. Uh, scientists tell us that we have two kinds of memory. We have short-term memory and long-term memory. And we actually keep things in our working memory, which is our short-term memory, as long as we need it. But after we've used it, we pass it over to our long-term memory. And that's where we store, manage, and retrieve information that we need in our life. So depending on which area of the brain has been damaged, someone may have uh, lost part or all of their short-term memory or even part or all of their long-term memory, sometimes, uh, sometimes a measure of both. But these are serious symptoms that have to be taken seriously uh, and not something that should be overlooked as, oh, I'm getting older. These, these need to be addressed by a doctor so that they can determine themselves uh, medically whether there has been a brain injury that's caused memory loss and so that treatment can be begun uh, and compensatory mechanisms established in your life to sort of make up for what, what's going on. So just make sure that these are mentioned to your doctor, properly diagnosed, in the event that they don't get go away and get better.